let me tell you this is this is this is the real tea right here the real tea right here what is up beautiful people welcome back to unapologetically mercy today we'll get deep within the hair industry and we're going and i'm going to tell you the four different types of hair that there is to offer um in the hair industry that you probably hear all the time and giving you what they actually mean the difference between each one and exactly which type of hair that you're actually looking for or investing your hard-earned money in so if you if you are interested in learning the difference between raw hair virgin hair remy hair and human hair stay tuned and i will tell you all the tea that you need to know sis don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel and let's get into these details if you're looking to purchase some hair you're looking between raw hair, virgin hair, human hair, you hear 100%, you hear Remy, non-Remy, you hear all these different terminologies and you're like, what are you really talking about? Like, you know, and then if you're trying to make sure you're getting the best quality hair and it might look great on video or um, advertisement but when you actually have the hair in hand it is not the type of hair that you actually purchased purchased or spent your money on so we will be talking about the four different types of hair in this video which are raw hair virgin hair human hair and then what is Remy hair those are the four hair terms that we are going to cover today in this video Let's actually start off with human hair. What is human hair, you might ask? Human hair is basically hair that you would find at the beauty supply store, and it will say 100% human hair, and it will come in those different variety of colors, and they are at a very low, a very they're very affordable at a very low price. Human hair is not actually um, human hair. They are just synthetic fibers that are that are put together to mimic what human hair would actually look like. So you're not really investing or you're really not getting human hair. Another thing about human hair is the quality of human hair. The quality of human hair, it does not last long at all. It might last you a wear or a few. Um, also, it sheds and it tangles and mats the most out of all types of hair that we're talking about today. So yeah. Another thing about human hair is once you are wash once you wash the hair, you will basically be um like the more you wash the hair, the worse the hair gets basically in a sense because the hair the, the synthetic strands are coated in silicone to make it look shiny and to make it look like a natural hair luster. So over time, as you wash it, it's gonna look very, it's gonna be very brittle, very dry, and just not it, sis. But at the same time, if that is the current um, market, that the type of hair that you are looking for and that you can afford at the time, then I mean, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to inform everybody on the different types of hair so they can actually get the type of hair that they're actually looking for. So now let's get into virgin hair. So virgin hair is 100% non-chemically processed human hair. You heard me say human and I'm talking about virgin. Well, this is because virgin hair actually comes from a humid head. They It comes from ponytail hair. It comes... Well, true version hair comes from ponytail hair, but this is real.
textures that virgin hair can provide to the different consumers. They have to steam process it to get that uniform look. That is another thing to look for. Virgin hair has a very uniform look. How to know when it is not 100% um, virgin hair is if the hair is chemically processed. If the hair is chemically processed, it is not virgin hair and it is also it has that bear that bad smell to it has that corn chip just not a cute smell that it has to it that lets you know that you're not actually that you did not receive a hundred percent human hair another thing about virgin hair it is is that it's a hundred percent cuticle align meaning that the cuticles are going in one direction to the root to the end same way which basically means another thing about virgin hair is that it is going to be more expensive than human hair but it will not be the most expensive hair that is in the hair industry another thing is virgin hair can last you two to five years even more depending on how you take care of the hair um, as well how how well you maintain the hair and actually getting true virgin hair if you're not getting true virgin hair it might last three washes or three three weeks three months maybe even a year but if it is not a hundred percent um virgin hair um, you're basically not getting what you paid for now that we have talked about what human hair is and what virgin hair is let's now talk about raw hair raw hair is like the creme de la creme of cream of the crop in the hair industry it is the most luxurious the best quality hair that a girl can buy so what is raw hair? Raw hair is 100% unprocessed human hair. So they cut the hair off of the donor's head and that ponytail, and they don't do anything to the hair. It's not processed at all. Raw hair is not as popular as virgin hair because it is more expensive than virgin hair, but you are getting the purest form of human hair it's come it is literally coming off of someone's head and basically straight into your hands basically like the bees knees another thing about raw hair is you will not find any one bundle the same texture i mean the same um it will not be uniform like you would see in virgin hair with raw hair, not everyone has the same um, 
type of curl pattern to their hair as in virgin hair they make that uniform texture another thing about raw hair is that it will last you longer than any of the hair that we have talked about today it could last five plus years i've heard um and then also will depend on what you do to the hair how you upkeep it even if you did dye it or not raw hair can be bleached color dyed virgin hair can be colored bleached and dyed but one thing about virgin hair when it's bleached or dyed depending on the curl pattern it can loosen up the curl pattern just a little bit because that hair has been steam processed to get that desired hair type. Also, raw hair is 100% cuticle aligned, and raw hair also comes from places that we mentioned in virgin hair that were real virgin hair, which is India, Vietnam, and Cambodia. India, Vietnam, and Cambodia are basically where real human hair comes from. Now that we have talked about human hair, virgin hair, and raw hair, let's get into what Remy hair, what Remy, what Remy means, and what non Remy means. So, how we mentioned that both virgin hair and raw hair are 100% cuticle aligned, that basically means that the hair is Remy. Another thing, another way to indicate hair being Remy is it coming from one single donor or maybe a few. Cut from ponytail hair, um, not floor hair. The cuticle is intact and each hair strands are facing the same direction from root to end. Non-rimmy hair is not 100% cuticle aligned, so the cuticles are going in more than one different direction, which would probably, which will cause shedding, tangling, and matting excessively and this and, and non remy hair comes from floor hair so it's hair that after they cut the hair after they cut the ponytail hair and they have you know maybe got rid of that they maybe processed the hair to be one length the hair that is left on the floor they will pick that hair up and will construct um bundles out of that which is non remy hair and they will also have the different synthetic fibers the different red and um, yellow synthetic fibers or pieces of yarn to fill in the bundle to make it look thicker than what it really is that's basically the difference between remy and non remy hair so before we end our segment for today i'm just going to do a recap because i know that was a lot of information at once, but your girl got you. Your girl got you. So human hair is hair that mimics human hair. It is chemically processed. It is basically synthetic fibers. It is very cheap um, and it does not last you long at all. It lasts you less than a year, less than three months, basically. And virgin hair, virgin hair is 100% cuticle aligned, 100% unchemically processed human hair. It is also from in regions of India, Vietnam, and Cambodia. The hair pattern is in a uniform form. It is more expensive than human hair, and it is also the most popular hair in the hair market. And it can last you two to five years, depending on how you take care of the hair, as well as it can be colored, bleached, and dyed. Virgin hair is also ponytail hair. Real virgin hair is ponytail hair and non-virgin hair is the floor hair, which is also the non remy hair. Raw hair is 100% unprocessed human hair from India, Vietnam, and Cambodia. The hair pattern is not identical on one bundle. Um, this, is the most, um, this is the most expensive hair in the market. It is the creme de la creme of hair in the industry. It is the best investment 
it is also the one that will last you the longest time. It will last you five plus years, which will also depend on how you take care and maintain that hair. It is also 100% cuticle aligned. It is a little more coarser texture to the hair. Remy hair is basically 100% cuticle aligned hair. Cuticle is going in the same direction from root to end. Hair comes from ponytail hair. And non-Remy hair is not 100% human hair. It comes from floor hair and the cuticles are not in the same direction from root to tip, which will lead to excessive tangles and shedding. So I hope all that made sense. So I'm gonna leave you with the top two types of hair that I would suggest that that I suggest would, would be the best thing for your buck if you actually look if you are actually looking to invest in some hair and to have it for some time to come. I would say the number one bet would be the raw Remy human hair, but that will be the most expensive type of hair that you will be getting, but you will also get the most longevity out of it. That's just more bang for your buck. Version Remy human hair is the second best hair that is out there in the market that I would suggest which would be a little bit more would be a little less expensive than raw hair and it's more popular because of the different hair patterns that you can um get and yes um shop with at trulyluscious.com where you can get your 100% version Remy human hair at an affordable price, as well as we now offer three um, pre-made wigs, deep wavy, natural straight, and body wave, as well as wig construction services and satin edge wraps. So come shop and invest in the longevity of your hair. Get the best bang for your buck. Stay tuned for our discussion on what single drawn hair is versus double drawn hair. That will be the next video that I will be doing in this hair series. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Help your girl get to 100 subscribers so I can do a free giveaway. And until next time, stay blessed, stay hydrated, one love.